So Momi Rilic steps forward for the first penalty. It is Best Prem to take the penalty first. Against uh, Schmal. Steps forward. Waits for the whistle. Missed his last penalty. Fakes one. But scores this. 1-0 Best Prem. And that is the pressure. And here comes Cupic. Who's he going to face? Well, would you believe it? He's facing his old mate, his old national teammate, Mirko Alilovic. So, Cupic, what can he do? Steps away just to clear the head. Then comes back to the seven-minute line. Facing Mirko. Mirko fakes him out. Fakes one. Save, Mirko! Save, Mirko! One to nil. Cupic misses, and it's Shago now who comes into the goal, facing Marguch. Look at it again. He gives him the other side, but Cupic decides to go for that one, and it's oh, look at Zorman's face. He can't believe it. So Shago to face Marguch. Marguch has been good on penalties this weekend. Let's see what he does. Fakes one. Oh, what a save, Shago! Marguch, but he could afford to miss one because of the miss from Cupic. And now it's Sturlek, missed one in the game against against Alilovic. And you wonder which side will he go this time? What a save. That's from a guy who was injured up until about, well, yesterday. So, Manu Sturlek steps forward against Alilovic. Penalty. Whistle's gone. Oh, he scores it this time. And it's 1-1. One one. Pressure back on uh, Sliskovic now, facing Shago. Marin Sego, best player, Ivan Sliskovic. So, Sliskovic facing Shago. Fakes one, yeah, powers it, no doubt. Yeah, nice goal, well taken, no chance, standing leg. That's where he puts it. Yeah, it's a great penalty, so clever. And the West Ham fans are happy. Now Bielecki. Bielecki is facing Alilovic. Fakes one. Oh, and he absolutely thunders it past. Alilovic, two to two. Three penalties gone. Oh, my goodness me, I can't believe it. Mirsad Terzic stepping forward to take a seven-meter throw. The specialist defender. Once upon a time, the left back of... Uh, Facing uh, Schmal, fakes one, and Schmal saves it, I can't believe Terzic went forward to take that penalty. I mean, they've got so many other players could do it. Schmal saves it, two saves for Kielce. Now the pressure is on Mikler, because if Kielce score this, they have a chance to win. They'll be on three, Vesprem will be on two, and the last Vespa penalty taker will have to score. Remember, Kielsa were minus nine. Mickler against uh, Reichman. Reichman's a penalty taker. Yeah. So, three to two. Kielsa leads. And it's Aaron Palmerson. Why is he the last guy to take the penalty? Well, Terzic must have said he wanted to do it. But now, all the pressure on Palmerson. What's he going to do? If he misses this, it's heartbreak. It's Kielce's cup, and they change the goalkeeper again. Shago comes forward to face Aaron Palmerson. Palmerson must score. He knows that. All the pressure on him. Oh, nice penalty. Well taken. Now, it's Aguinagalde. Oh, another guy you're wondering why. Aguinagalde comes forward for a seven meter against Delilovic. He can be a hero. The man talent had at Ciudad de Real and Atletico Madrid. The man he brought to Kielce. Whistle goes, fakes it. They've won! Kielce, the champions of Europe! And again, a goal, they do it. And Vesprem have thrown away a nine goal lead, a chance at glory. And you just wonder how on earth it all. Do you want to see more highlights of the Vilux EHF Champions League? Click here.